Here, do you want this at all? Yeah, I mean, I, I did light it after all. Can we watch Sensitive Society? No. <laughs> it's not even like- I'm his biggest fan, Ethan. It's not even like fun to watch that guy. <clears throat> Who up gobbling big glue? Two days ago, I tweeted, I'm sick AF right now. If I don't upload it three days, I died. And I love you. I'm happy to stay. I haven't passed away. It's no secret. I really don't like people like Ethan is online and Nick's not green. We've talked about Nick's not green quite a few times here on the channel. And of course, that means that I'm also not a big fan of Ethan is online. Me and him had a little back and forth a few months ago. I believe it was like five, six, seven months ago. And ever since then, I completely forgot he existed. I forgot what he did. And looking at his channel right now, it kind of looks like he forgot what he was doing as well because he hasn't uploaded in three weeks almost a month this is pretty rare of him and uh, you know i'm just a friend here and this got me thinking why i mean the timing is so weird i mean it's as soon as the tides start to flip between nick's not green and super mega i mean that coincidence is just bananas considering the fact that he hasn't been uploading to his second channel either in the same amount of time when he normally uploads once per week sometimes if you're lucky once every two weeks but almost a month off once again as soon as the super mega situation starts turning kind of suspicious but i'm really surprised this guy is fake and on his last video people are cooking him alive i almost reached out to him via twitter the because I just want to make sure he's okay and we go to the comment section it's not looking too good I mean this person says delete this comment as well which means he is active on social media he just hasn't said anything why because him and his dumb girlfriend were celebrating the cancellation of super mega they were smoking weed like the fucking badass kids they are right they were celebrating the W that they canceled well not them really it was Nick's not green before we get into those clips and I just want to say this that live stream I couldn't find it on his channel he deleted everything because he doesn't want any evidence and that's why i'm also making this video i also want to remind you guys what a shitty person this guy is i was brave enough and stunning enough to get out of bed when i'm dying to record this banger why because i'm a pity person it's fun to see this retard who had this holier than that attitude towards me towards a cheeto towards anyone who dared criticize him he was always right well until now this person says your girl a hoe and your content is trash justice for super mega doesn't anyone find it so weird that ethan is online dated or is dating this person i don't know if they broke up i read some comments that say otherwise so this person comes out with her story and then ethan is online out of nowhere you know starts dating her i don't know i'm not trying to insinuate anything i'm just saying the timing of everything is extremely interesting if you will sad pathetic little man quip yapping you make leftists look bad preachy smug twat and if i'm just comment you should have a conversation with the cheeto and someone says a cheeto sucks even more than sensitive society and some of you might remember in one of my next night green videos i said oh yeah you know this was a setup this was an inside job. This is 9-11 2.0. Everyone knew what was going on. And this person says, they say, how does it feel that Nick is not green through you to the wolves and Lex is dumping your loser ass for being a drama cloud goblin? Can anyone confirm if they broke up? Why would anyone ever break up with Ethan this online? Even though it looks like he smells like weed 24-7. Even though he looks like he's 45 years old and he's like younger than me, I think. Even though he's extremely annoying and preach as fuck, I really don't see why anyone would ever want to break up with him what is it like to be the hipster tumor on the ball sack of the left <laughs> you ruin everything you touch and are a joke what a youtuber and a leftist should be damn this person was not having it you're a disappointment nick betrayed you he threw you your girlfriend broke up with you you smell bad and you're everything wrong with leftist youtubers god damn if i saw this coming i would retire from youtube honestly once again i don't understand why anyone would break up with ethan he looks like he smells great you know if you like cheap weed he looks like he's funny and friendly and welcoming towards any color or gender so and the main reason why i decided to make this video well there was two i saw a cheeto make a video on it and on top of that i saw this that he's losing subscribers well he lost about a thousand subscribers right now you know huge round of applause to everyone who woke up and decided you know what this guy ain't cooking this guy's burning the whole kitchen he's burning the whole block he's burning the whole neighborhood put him out i'm glad people realized his content was straight up doo-doo trash stinky it was worse than a baby's full diaper that's how bad it was so i'm glad people are waking up they're seeing what he did they're seeing that he ran with false allegations and accusations and how he was kind of the puppet for nick to make that video on super mega thank you if you're watching either of those two and noah samson and all of those you know fucking losers i think you need 
uh, to find better YouTubers. And isn't it funny how the people who seem the most welcoming, the most progressive, inclusive, are the ones who are getting in trouble right now? And people like me who get accused of being evil and mean and rude, when was the last time I was in controversy? When was the last time someone tried to expose me? When was the last time a million sub YouTube channel came at me for doing something bad? I will never do anything this stupid. I will never celebrate people losing subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, and potentially ruining a career with my girlfriend who was also the victim of an alleged sexual assault case and situation but she's on here on stream celebrating like it was so fucking weird out of all of this this is my favorite moment jimmy shantler thank you for the normal member super mega will take the w that's they're fine. taking their time that's for sure <laughs> i've already said my piece they can take whatever they want whatever letter of the alphabet they prefer i'm a glue kid if i was him i would feel like the biggest idiot on planet earth Oh yeah, you know, they're short taking their sweet time. Just a few days later, videos drop. And about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, the Turkey Tom video dropped and a lot of more people are talking about this. So yeah, they did take their time. It was for a reason. And now everyone's really seeing what a horrible person you and Lex honestly appears to be. Can we watch Sensitive Society? No. <laughs> it's not even like- I'm his biggest fan, Ethan. It's not even like fun to watch that guy. Might not be fun to watch that guy, but you know, it's short as fuck is good and fun to watch your channel die. <laughs> Yes, I love this. And I know some people are going to say, Pity, you're like 40 years old, whatever. It's like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Fuck these hoes. Fuck everyone. Fuck Nick's Not Green. Fuck Ethan and Lex and anyone in between who, you know, likes them or belongs to that community. I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. And before we go, I just want to address something really quickly here. I hate the fact that Ethan is online on his fucking second chance. He made a video called, I talked to my weirdest hater for three hours straight. Full interview. When in reality, he's the one who reached out to me. He's the hater because he's the one who started everything. Before this, I had no idea who this person was. But yeah, I just fucking hate the way he framed this video. Oh yeah, talking to my biggest hater. As if I came after him. Well, now I am because I'm pissing on his channel. I'm pissing on his grave. Fake people will always be exposed. People like them will always be exposed. You can only fool your audience with a nice guy persona for so long until the mask starts slipping. And this is exactly what happened. Ethan is online is the person who wanted Super Mega canceled. He just didn't make a video on it for whatever reason, even though that was his girlfriend. So let's just give it to Nick's Not Green for whatever reason. For views? Because he has a bigger channel? We may never know. I'm glad people woke up and realized how horrible these people are and just how much of a fucking hypocrite and liars they are. And don't worry, guys. Sensitive Society is always here to expose these fraud yeah i'm having way too much fun with this video i'll just leave it at this i just wanted to give you guys a quick update and uh, i'm sure in two months i'll make a video about ethan is online being homeless or opening an only fans you know spreading them white booty cheeks apart for five dollars because he needs to buy his weed so i'll definitely keep you guys updated anyways what do you guys think of this and if you're an ethan is online fan please unsubscribe from them please find better content creators like myself all right bye <laughs> i took a picture of you after the show thanks thanks so much worm Elon. What happened with Super Mega? Listen, Nick made a video about it, but all you need to know is that they're bad.